my gosh, I hope you can see me. I got home from work this morning. I am so excited. After years, years of trying to get them to send it, Google AdSense has sent me my pen. I can't believe it. Had to share it with you. I'm so excited. I might actually get paid for some of the vlogs I've done. Not all of them. They don't want to pay me for all of them. They said some of my vlogs that have personal opinions about being an old lady are not good enough for ads. That's okay. Out of about 400 ads, I think they have denied six. Can't beat those odds. I mean, I could dispute it. I mean, Lane Bryant has, you know, body image uh, commercials where, hello cat, get him away cat. You know, where they, uh, you know, try to get rid of that stereotypical beauty is thinness and youngness. Yeah, uh, Helen Mirren is old and beautiful. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I've got all the edges torn off. I'm opening it. There it is! Oh my god! Okay. Now, the cat will get out of the way of the camera. I, I, oh. I came in so excited this morning, I thought I'd make the, the dogs look like they were tame, but <laughs> they've all been quiet. I think they don't know why I came in all excited. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. It says, action needs required. You need a pin. Enter your pin. Drum roll. Okay, let's hope this works. Check it, make sure it's right. Yes, submit pin. Nothing happened. I have no idea what any of this stuff means. Nothing. Clicks, CPC, page, CTR, R impressions, page RPM, RPM, revolutions per minute, uh, page views. I, I have no idea. Some of it's in the red, some of it's in the green, some of it's plus, some of it's minus. I know I'm not the greatest YouTuber in the world. Hey, why are you doing that, Brian? But I never claimed to be the most classic, the most together, the most beautiful film footage, the most gorgeous background music. The most professional, the cleanest. No, I'm a real, I am a human being. Oh, well. If you like watching just plain human beings. I put it in. It said, uh, your ad units are not displaying ads because you haven't verified your address or pin yet. And I have verified my address and now I've put in a pin, but it didn't say accepted. I love you. Way to go. Wowie wow. Nothing. It just just stayed the same after I hit submit and uh, says I'm not running any experiments are they kidding I do nothing but experiment that's all I do and you all know that I got a really great idea for an experiment too oh come on okay you know what let's just wait a day see if anything happens maybe three or four days maybe a week maybe another year maybe someday some money will show up in my it says today so far I've made zero yesterday I made zero last seven days I made zero and this month I've made zero 1600 people can't make me any money I guess watching commenting subscribing I have no idea how this works but in three years I have made about well, it says my last payment was zero so it hasn't paid me anything but it's claiming there's enough in there that I can hire somebody to clean the backyard if they send it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking about plasticking my entire house for the winter. Just putting plastic around the whole thing. Because I just, it leaks like a sieve. I figured, so, I also had this idea, too. I need to do something with the chickens for the winter. See, tomorrow we're getting a winter blast. So, all of a sudden, that's making me think, hmm... I have to winterize my chickens. Something's gonna have to get better this year. 
so that they will be safe and warm. Also, I need to figure out a way to make a dog door, which that's going to require a piece of plywood and begging pop. Please cut the plywood and make a little door so I can stick it in my slider. Um, but if they send me that little bit of money, I can afford to do that because the whole thing will only cost me about $250, I think, to get the plastic, the duct tape, the board. I have plans, big plans. And today I'm going to go get some hay because I'm going to try to make the chickens more comfortable. And what else am I going to do today? Oh, where is that magazine? Cat, did you do something with the magazine? Oh, here it is. Brian, Spats, are you helping me vlog this morning? You know, you know why he's being nice to me is because I fed him fishy, fishy, fishy stuff. Loves it. What is it with women's world? Is this the same woman two months in a row on the front of that cover? Um, maybe she's somebody's daughter. Anyway, I, yeah, these are cheap to buy when you're checking out. That's why I always get them. I don't always get them. But, uh, let me sit you up just a hair. Yeah, oh, I, I oh, have oh. my debit card and Hold these it. kids. Okay, I don't always get them. But when I see something on here I can't pass up, it's like slimming detox water. And I thought, huh, hmm, water. Water's always been detoxifying, they say. So I was in here looking at all the goodies and the candies and everything. Although I thought this was an awful cute idea. You, uh, by using the vegetables to make like a little skeleton guy. So creative. Other people are so creative. Um, but what they were talking about was, was adding all these herbs and spices to your water. And basically making mud. From what I could tell. So uh, here, here it is. Okay, so here's the, this woman lost, how much did she lose? 21 pounds. 21 pounds on slimming detox water. And uh, basically, you are supposed to put, or it's supposed to cure tummy aches. Uh, it, it, do, it's magical. It's magical. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a doctor so and so's of Ayurvedic things, and you know, la da 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 da. -da. Um, you boil the water uh, with uh, mangistha powder, a bloat fighting flower extract, often used. You can get it on Amazon. Who could even pronounce it? Oh, no, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, coriander, fennel seeds powdered ginger or fresh ginger, then the water, and then the mangistista, which was actually uh, only, um, thanks, that, uh, was, was actually, a, you could or could not add it. it. It had a little disclaimer in there about that stuff. So basically by the time you put, I like fennel tea, actually, but by the time you mix all of it together with the cumin and everything, Ugh. It probably tastes worse than black seed oil. <laughs> that stuff's pretty bad, but so good for you. As far as I am concerned, my personal opinion. Uh, oh, get all that stuff. What else is going on? Uh, not a whole lot. Like I said, i got to go get some straw today. I've got to start bedding things down. We're supposed to be down to 40 degrees tomorrow morning. Super rain, super cold. I cross the country, big Arctic blast coming in, I guess. And then it's going to warm back up again. So it's just like a quick little slap in the face preview about winter that we should all be getting on it and getting ready. And I hope you enjoyed my last couple of videos. I've been trying to do some cooking. I'm working on a... Yeah, I got some ideas. And I think I'm getting one day off this weekend. So hopefully I'll get to implement some of those ideas and maybe get some more of the house clean. Keep working on it. And uh, so I love you all. I hope you're having a, a lovely day. And I, you know, I'm going to talk about something about keto diet, well, about dieting in general today. And I, it struck me as I was driving out of town this morning, and I was passing a uh, Sonic. I used to love Sonic. Everything, Sonic. They, it's a drive-in. You don't have them. It's incredible. 
uh, fatty, carbohydrate-y food. Lots of ice cream choices, and they have really great breakfast burritos. And so as I was driving by, I was like, I just want to be a normal person. I just want to eat breakfast burritos and, you know, munch on them with... Why are you knocking off things? Did you break my new cup? Did you break my new cup? You got lucky it didn't break. You really got lucky that didn't break. You know why? People would have missed you on my channel. Yes, they would have. <laughs> are you sorry? Scudner. High five. Thank you. <laughs> I forgive you. Near disaster. We almost lost Scud because <laughs> of a broken cup. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, he's so kissable. Anyway, where was I? Oh, I was lamenting that I had that moment of I just want to be a normal person. I want to be a normal sized woman, five foot four, 135 pounds, you know, and be able to eat anything I want and everything all the time and not even think about it. And if I want goodies, have goodies. If I want sweets, have sweets. And if I want four breakfast burritos from Sonic, I could just go get them and not even think about it because I never gain weight. And if I do, it just comes right back off again. And I start feeling sorry for myself. Here's a little violin, Grandma, just for you. It's just playing for you. So like I said, we can't all be average. We can't all be the same. And I just didn't get dealt the good cards, you know? I think it's time for the rest of the world to realize that, you know, when they say we should all be, you know, quote unquote normal or, oh, I feel sorry for the girls in Japan and China where they, they have to be thinner than thin, you know, it's ridiculous. And, you know, it, we just aren't all genetically made the same. And so I guess time to stop feeling sorry for ourselves and figure out a way to make crab rangoon with less carbs. Yeah, I guess. That's what we're going to have to do. And I stupidly got on the scale, which I was too soon. And, uh, I mean, I'm pretty much the same. But, you know, I haven't, I'm not seeing a loss. And that always bums me out. I have got to stay away from the scale. I tell you all the time, stay away from the scale. It's not worth, you know. And um, so I went to the post office this morning. And I noticed my pants were falling down as I was walking along. And I thought, see, it don't matter what the scale says. Your pants are falling off. <laughs> yeah. That's what's that's what matters right there, and um, and the post office was closed. Here I remembered to go pick up my black seed oil came in, my new one, and I thought, why is the post office closed today? Is it a holiday? I'm unaware of. I'm gonna have to check online. Anyway, just a little chat this morning with you all because sometimes that's all I can afford to do, and uh, thank heaven Skinner's gonna live. <laughs> Love you all. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to keep up with the insanity. Oh, you want to say something? Or you just want to climb up and lay on my chest? Mm, I know. You want to have some loves. Well, I got to go love on the animals this morning. Mm, and then we're going to do something about the chickens. You want to ride with me to go get some hay bales? Sure. Okay. We'll do that. Mm. Y'all. Scud loves you too. Bye-bye. <laughs>